The Tech Arbiter, with the basics of Photoshop elements. Putting your face on the Hulk. Part 6. Making color adjustments. Our next step is concerned with matching the color of the face to the rest of the body. To do this, we're going to use what's called an adjustment layer. We are going to go to the drop-down menus at the top of the screen and click Layers. From there, we will find Adjustment Layers. Next, we will go to Hue and Saturation. Click, and a dialog box will appear. If we adjust the hue slider, we will see the colors of the image shift. If we go down to the bottom of the dialog box, we will see how the colors shift. The two rainbows represent the color spectrum, what the color spectrum should be versus what we have changed it to. As we do not want the adjustment layer to affect the entire image, we need to click the button in the bottom left of the dialog box. This clips it to the layer below it, and as such, it will only affect that layer, which, in this case, is my face. Now, moving back to the hue slider, let's adjust it until we can get the color of my face to approximate the color of the Hulk's body. This appears to be pretty close, so let's go down to the eye icon to turn this effect on and off. That's a good way to see where you were versus where you are. We'll then use the saturation and lightness sliders to try and dial this effect in more precisely. Saturation has to do with how intense the colors are versus the lightness slider, which affects how bright or dark it is. It is also good to note that if you pull the saturation slider all the way down, you will end up with a grayscale image, i.e. no color. Using hue and saturation adjustments sometimes will only get you so far. Other times it'll get you all the way there. So the next step that we're going to take is we're going to create a color overlay on another layer in order to make my face more closely match that of the Hulk's body. To do this, I'm going to start by going to the top of the layers panel, where I will click the button to create a new layer. I'm then going to go over and get the brush tool from the left tool panel. I will then need to acquire a color from the Hulk's body to start painting. So I will click on the black square to get to the color picker. I will then use the eyedropper that appears whenever I'm not in the dialog box to click on a place on the Hulk's body which has a color that I think would be useful. I will then check to make sure I have a soft brush of the appropriate size, after which I will start coloring over my face with green. I will then need to change the layer type so that it affects the layers below it in the appropriate way. To do this, I will use the drop down menu at the top of the layers panel. By clicking on it, we see all the available options. Let's go through them one by one. By doing this, we will find the effect that comes closest to our needs. The multiply effect in this situation seems pretty solid, but we may not need it to be as intense as it is currently. So by clicking and dragging on the word opacity, it will cause the effect to be more or less intense. It also doesn't hurt to zoom out to gain another perspective. After settling on the multiply effect again at 55% opacity, I think I'm going to make a few more adjustments to the hue and saturation adjustment layer attached to the face layer. This will get the color a little bit more correct. I can also add another hue and saturation adjustment layer directly to the green layer that I just created to get it a bit more precise. I think that I have the color close enough for where I want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As, change it to version 5, click Save, and move on to the next step.